And I guess what we were talking about when we ended was... Import substitution. Yeah. I gave the example of the wine industry, okay? Uh, I, another example is that British Columbia is a great sports area. And there's been a number of manufacturers, small ones, that have recognized that the development of sports equipment and dress um, are things that can sell in British Columbia. There's one manufacturer in Vernon who uses one of these new materials that breathes, which is very, very important for anybody who hikes or is involved in winter sports. By using that material and creating well-designed um, products, they've been able to uh, establish a good market for their products in British Columbia, and they're shipping them all over Canada. Over at the University of Victoria, uh, as you know, someone developed, uh, they, they developed the, um, the uh, gear for hypothermia. And so you can now get these floater jackets that um, will allow people um, to survive in severe uh, weather conditions or water conditions. That was perceived off in the first instance for sports fishermen and things of this nature in our coastal waters. Those things are being manufactured and sold for the people that are working in the Arctic, in the North Sea, and all sorts of things. So I could go down a whole list of things where people have seen the opportunity to pursue something perhaps uh, for British Columbians first and foremost. But if it's a quality product or quality service, it can be sold very, very much in other places as well.